Hi T Equipment fans, this is George Rivera here to talk about the Cordex Toughpix Digitherm Digital and Thermal Imaging Camera. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. Here's the uh, camera itself, which we'll discuss in a moment. Uh, you get a USB uh, uh, memory uh, for the memory card to uh, connect to your computer. You get a, a charging stock for your uh, battery and uh, several adapters for different uh, country uh, outlets. And you also get this uh, key, which would, you would open the uh, battery compartment door, which we'll do in a moment as well. Let's just start by talking about a little bit about the camera. As you can see, if you're familiar with the previous generation, this is considerably smaller. It's about 50 to 60% smaller and lighter than the older models. The older models were explosion proof. This model is intrinsically safe, big difference. It's uh, for zone one and two, or in the US uh, div two, for uh, intermittent uh, hazardous areas, not continuous. The camera itself is a five megapixel camera and the thermal aspect is uh, 80 by 60. So it's more like a postage stamp, but it's still uh, helpful if you're trying to do some quick troubleshooting. For example, if you want to check a tank and see what the level is or uh, take a quick look at something. Uh, if you need something more significant, Cordex does offer a, a better uh, thermal imaging camera. The warranty is two years if you register it, one year if you don't. The uh, Display is 2.8 inches diameter. There's uh, two wrist straps uh, for left-handed and right-handed, and uh, the actual operation of the camera. So you have the power button to uh, power up the camera, and then uh, you have a shutter, and then this joystick. If you hold it down once, you get one set of menus. If you press and hold for a little bit longer, you get the second set of menus. The, the screen is not touch screen. The, the body is aluminum, it's, uh, so it's pretty shock resistant, uh, and it is water resistant as well, and uh, pretty good with extreme temperatures. You could uh, uh, take, let me just shut this off, and we'll take a look at the battery compartment. You use the key, just a quick uh, quarter turn to open the door. The older models, you had to use an uh, uh, Allen key. It's a lot easier with this model. It, here's the battery just slides right out and there's also a uh, memory card. The literature you might find it says something about 4 megapixel. They've upgraded it to 16 megapixel, uh, 16 gigabyte, excuse me, the memory card. If one word of caution, if you are going to use uh, another battery or memory card, you have to use the approved ones from Cordex. I know it sounds like a way to make more money, but the approvals for intrinsic safety are contingent on these specific ones being used. One, one thing that I personally am not happy with is you have to really press down on this gasket to uh, close the door. And make, to make sure that you got it closed. What can I tell you about the camera? There's an LED flash. It's five megapixels, as I mentioned before. It has a motorized focus. If you're doing close-up work, like for example, you wanna take some lettering, uh, you, the best distance is five to 10 centimeters. That will help you if you're, like say, taking a, a nameplate off of a motor or something that, or an area that you're working on, you can take that picture. And that's the best uh, distance to do that. The uh, camera has three modes. It has a visual only, it has a thermal only, and it has a blended as well, they call ATB. The uh, software that they offer is a Cortex Connect, is the name of the software. It's free, there's no license restrictions on computers, and you can uh, get the radiometric information on there. You could mouse around and get different temperatures, uh, and then uh, use, use it to print the uh, thermal only or a blended uh, image. There's an alarm triggering capability, which I kind of like. You could set it on a tripod and set up an, a thermal temperature alarm, and then it'll take a picture automatically for you of whatever it is that you're pointing it at. So that's just some of the basics on the camera. If you have any questions about the camera or any other intrinsically safe uh, instruments or uh, uh, equipment in general, please feel free to give us a call. I'm, or email us at salesteam at tequipment.net. Thank you.